But if this seems a bit too futuristic, then one man has more immediate plans for the moon. For 30 years, space scientist Dr. David Criswell has had a dream to put thousands of solar panels on the moon and harness the energy of the sun. We can have solar panels on Earth. Why take them to the moon? You want to take them to the moon because the sunlight on the moon is absolutely predictable. There's no air, there's no water, there's no mechanical vibration. So you don't have to build massive facilities like this. On the moon, you could replace these with solar arrays that are the thickness of tissue paper. The plan is to build thin solar panels along the rim of the moon so they get almost constant sunlight. The electricity would then be transmitted back to Earth using microwaves. He believes he can produce enough energy to meet global demand. The moon receives 13,000 terawatts of power, solar power that's going to waste. By going to the moon, we can collect that power at the cheapest cost and send it back here to Earth. He's hoping to create an unlimited supply of energy with the least environmental impact. You see, the plan is to make everything on the moon itself. From what's already there, on the lunar surface. When you look at the moon, basically what you see is dust. It's very, very finely ground up rock and glass. You can make it into fiberglass, you can make it into containers, you can make it into rods and tubes and all of that sort of stuff. You make it sound so straightforward, so why aren't we doing it? Well, you've got to be on the moon. We've got to go back to the moon. Somehow we've lost the will to do this commitment to going back to the moon and making it a permanent stay rather than just a short visit. Now this grand scheme would cost at least half a trillion dollars. But that's less than oil companies spent every two years getting oil and gas out of the ground. There's nothing to stop us building solar powered bases on the moon right now. And I, for one, can't wait for the day.